Hello everyone and welcome back to Color Scholar. In this video, we will be creating a photorealistic egg entirely from scratch in Photoshop using gradients. So let's make a new document of 1920 by 1080p and 300 ppi resolution. You can see here our background layer is locked. To unlock it, just double click on the empty area and name the layer. I will call it background. Now I will apply gradient overlay to the background layer by double clicking on it to open the layer style dialog box. Then go to gradient overlay and apply gray to white gradient in the gradient editor. Keep the other settings as such and the angle will be 90 degrees. You can collapse the effects in the layers panel when you click on this arrow icon. Now I'm going to make a new layer and name it Excel. Then I will use the elliptical marker tool to make an oval shape for the egg and fill it with any color as we will be applying gradient overlay to this layer as well. I will then use the transform tool to distort the shape to look like an egg and I will do this by holding the control key on the keyboard and dragging the corners as appropriate. When satisfied, click on this icon to complete the transform. I will open the layer style for this layer by double clicking on it and select gradient overlay and apply the gradient using the following colors in the video. After that, change the angle to 21 degrees. I am again going to rotate the shape a little bit. And you can collapse the layer effect like so. Let's make it a little smaller. Now select pen tool from the toolbar or press P on the keyboard and draw the shape for the bottom of the egg like shown in the video. After that, right click on the path and select make selection with feather radius of 0. Then make a new layer. I will name it egg bottom. Click on the foreground color to open up color picker and select light yellow color. Then press alt plus delete to fill the selection with that color. After that drag the layer below the excel layer. Now we are going to apply shades and to do this I will make a new layer and clip it to the egg bottom layer. I will name it shades. Then I'll select the color EEA87C and I'll choose a soft round brush with opacity 20% and flow 60% and just apply shades right over here. I'll decrease the opacity to about 75%. Then I'll make a new layer and clip it to the egg bottom as well for the texture of the egg bottom. Then I'll fill it with 50% gray and go to filter and add noise of about 5%. Then I'll change the blend mode to soft light. Next I will use levels adjustment layer and clip it to the egg bottom layer and increase the blacks as well as the midtones a little bit after that I will select the noise texture layer and go to filter and in stylize you will get emboss and apply emboss with the following settings Finally I will use curves adjustment layer, clip it and darken the shadows and midtones. Now you can see the edges are very smooth, so let's make them jagged to make it look like it's broken randomly. 
For this I'll use lasso tool and draw jagged lines on the excel layer like this. After the selection is complete, invert the selection and delete any unwanted areas. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now I'll make a new layer on the top and name it Thickness. Hold the Ctrl key and click on the Excel thumbnail to load up the selection. Press D on the keyboard to make foreground and background colors to black and white and press X to toggle between them. Now fill the selection with white by pressing Alt plus Delete. Drag the thickness layer below the Excel layer and press Ctrl plus T to transform and use the arrow keys on the keyboard to bring it down and to the right a little bit. Now we have our thickness. Next I'll make a new layer and name it Egg Yolk. And I'll take my elliptical marker tool and make a circle by holding the shift key on the keyboard and then fill it with any color I'm just using yellow for reference but before that I'll feather the radius about 5 pixels and then fill it with the color Ctrl D to deselect you can press B on the keyboard to select the move tool. Then I will load up the transform and place the yolk as appropriately within the Excel. Holding the control key on the keyboard will allow you to distort the yolk. To remove this unwanted area, I will first load the selection of Excel and then apply a layer mask to the egg yolk layer. Now if you want to move the egg yolk after applying the layer mask, it will move together with the mask, which is something that we don't want. So to solve this, click on the chain icon between right here and now if you move the egg yolk, it will only move within the egg cell, independent of the layer mask. When you are done, you can click on that empty area to chain them together again. Next I will open up the layer style dialog box and apply gradient overlay to the egg yolk and the colors for the gradient are as shown in the video. Keep the angle at 71 degrees. Let's give the egg yolk some texture as well. So I'll make a new layer on top, you can choose to clip it or not. Then make sure your foreground and background colors are white and black. After that go to filter. Render and select clouds. Holding the control key, load up the selection of the egg yolk and apply layer mask to the cloud layer. To remove the excess area, first you need to load the selection of the egg cell and then select brush with black color and opacity and flow at 100%. Then invert the selection and paint with black over the areas you want to delete. Then change the blend mode to soft light and decrease the opacity to about 55%. And now you can see the effect without texture and with texture. Next I'll make a new layer below the egg yolk layer and name it yolk shadow. I will load up the selection of the egg yolk and I'll feather the radius about 5 pixels. 
Then I'll press Shift plus F5 to bring up the fill dialog box and choose color F09128 and then press OK. I will then load up the transform and move the layer down and to the left using the transform tool and the arrow keys on the keyboard. I will remove any unwanted area by holding the ALT key and dragging the layer mask from the egg yolk layer to the yolk shadow layer. The next item I will make is egg white in a new layer below the yolk shadow layer. And I will again use the elliptical marquee tool to make an oval shape and then feather it about 4 pixels. I'll fill the selection with color FBA63A. Then using the transform tool, I will distort the egg white to fit within the egg cell. I will use the same layer mask to delete the unwanted areas like before and keep the opacity at 85%. I will change the opacity for the yolk texture to 40%. Now I will make a new layer and name it highlights. I will use the elliptical market tool again and in the options bar select add to selection and draw a shape like this. After that fill it with white. You can even distort the shape if you want with the help of transform tool. Reduce the opacity to 30%. I will then apply a layer mask and delete some areas using black color and 100% flow and 20% opacity. In the next phase, I will create sign here and here. I will make a new layer and name it sign. I will again use my soft round brush with hardness of 31% and opacity and flow are at 100%. I will then paint some strokes on the yolk as well as inside the egg cell. I will then use the smudge tool and smudge the strokes like so. With the help of eraser tool, I can delete some areas as well. Now I'm going to make a new layer and name it white strokes and spots. With white color selected, I will use soft round brush and paint some white spots inside the egg cell. I will then use the smudge tool again and smudge the areas like before. I will keep the opacity at 60%. I will then apply layer mask by holding the ALT key and dragging the mask from the egg yolk layer to our current layer. Now I am going to make shadows for our egg. So I will make a new layer above the background layer and name it egg shadow. I will draw an oval shape using the elliptical market tool. and uh, then fill it with gray, dark gray color. I will next position the shadow below the egg as appropriate and then convert it to a smart object so that we can change the settings for any filter we apply.
Now I will apply some Gaussian blur of about 22 pixels. I will then keep the layer opacity at 85%. You can see the edges for our egg are very sharp and perfectly aligned, which doesn't look natural. So for final touch, with the thickness layer selected, I will use the blur tool and just blur out the edges. I will do the same for the egg cell layer as well. After that, I will use Smudge tool to smudge out the edges to give the egg some imperfections. And now our very own photorealistic egg is ready and we created it all in Photoshop just by using some basic tools. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something new and if you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you back for some more. See you next time on Color Scholar.